Hey what's going on guys my name is Victor and in this video I'm gonna build a coffee cup with this vapor animation on top so everything you see here is CSS and HTML except the logo the logo is a PNG image uh, there's gonna be a link in the description uh, where you can take a look at the logo and there's gonna be a link in the description from where you can grab the source code uh, but I'm also gonna write everything from scratch in case you want to follow along with me so um, let's dive in Okay, so this is my VS Code. Um, I open it in my project. So I'm going to have two files here. One is going to be index.html and the second one is going to be style.css. Now in my HTML file, I'm going to have an HTML5 uh, page here. Here I'm going to say just coffee and below I will import the CSS file like this. And here I'm going to add a few uh, div classes just to make the structure. I'm going to keep this open just uh, for like a reference. So I'm going to have a lead here. I mean, this is not a lead, but this is kind of like, that's how I, I called it. This is the place where the lead goes. And then I'm going to have the, the actual cop and then the bottom side. So um, yeah, so here, first of all, I'm going to have a div class. And this div class is going to be coffee block. This is where my coffee mark is going to be. And then here I have another div div class, and this is the lead. This is the top side. And I'm gonna have another div which is going to be uh, the cop. All right. And then below I'm gonna have another div for the bottom side. So I'll just name it. Oops. bottom okay all right i'm gonna save it for now just um so uh just i wanted to mention guys if you don't have uh stop okay here i have an extension here on my vs code which is called live server so um you can just go here to extensions and if you don't have it just search for live server and this is the extension extension i'm using you can install it and then after that in your index.html just right click on your file and click on open with live server and whenever you click on this um, on that option it's going to open up a new tab in your browser which is going to be like a uh, live server on your local machine so basically whenever you make changes in your code and you just save it this is gonna the page is gonna reload by itself Okay, so uh, it's time for the CSS. Now in my CSS file, I'm going to add some uh, global styling here, just uh, like margin, margin zero, padding zero. Now here I'm gonna add some styling for the body section. So I'll, I'll have a background color uh, of, let's say, um, 645C96. I like this uh, blue color wait no it's uh, it's actually not blue 46 5 C 96 okay yeah I like it now okay and then here I'm gonna have width 100% height I want to make it full screen so this is going to be 100 VH and then the position is going to be relative because I'm gonna have a position absolute before uh, below here and now for the coffee block for this one, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add some styling here. I will have the position absolute, and then I wanna center it, kind of thing. So I'll have top 50% and left 50%, and the I will use the transform because this is not gonna center it the way I want it to. So we'll just transform translate and I'll put here minus 50% and minus 50% and below here I will add a width and I'll say 250 pixel like this uh, if I save it now nothing's gonna happen here except the background is gonna change uh, and that's it for now but uh, here I'm gonna add some styling to the actual lead so I'm gonna create the top side of the coffee now so I will have here lead and I will have a background color 
uh, let's I'm gonna make it white and then below I'm gonna have a height 20 pixel and the border radius border radius of 50% and I have a border a 8 pixels solid and just a uh, little darker than white and then there's gonna be a Z index and it's gonna be a 9 because I wanted to show on top of everything and the position relative because the Z index is not gonna work with that and um, yeah so I'm gonna save it let's see let's see what we've, we've got here so this is the top side of the coffee mug the coffee cup like like this one here um, I want to actually add some shadow because like there's a shadow here too so I will add a shadow right below here so I'll have box shadow and I'll have zero one pixel three pixel zero RGB and here I'll have 000, zero, zero dividing by 51%. Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay, now it looks better. So the next thing is to create the, the cup. So I'm gonna go here below and I will add some styling for the cup. The cup needs to be a little uh, taller. So I'm gonna have a, first of all, margin. Um, Let's do background color first. Background color white. And then the height is going to be 300 pixels. I already have these dimensions because I have the script. I already built it before just to have it, you know, just a reference. And then the width is 100%. And max width uh, 240 pixels. And let's see how it looks like. Okay, so it's like... Uh, square kind of thing now I want to push it a little bit under the lead under this uh, top side so I don't have this space on the side so uh, I'm gonna add here margin I will put minus 18 pixels and I'll do auto and zero just want to put auto just to center it so if I go back now we see that it's uh, it's good now here but if we see here we have this shape kind of like a uh, <laughs> looking nice here uh, in our case it's more like a uh, I don't know whatever you can call it but it's, it doesn't look like a cop yet so uh, we can fix that by using a clip path so clip path and this is gonna be a, a polygon so I'll have polygon uh, it's a function so here I'm gonna have 50% to 50% and then zero zero and then a hundred percent and zero like this so if I go back now I see that the shape looks more like a like a cop now than before <laughs> mm. okay so uh, the next thing is the bottom side because like if we look at the bottom where is it you see this bottom side doesn't really look rounded it needs to be looking around it like this so I'm gonna have a separate section here on the bottom a separate div class um, bottom and the bottom is gonna be of course I'm gonna have a background color white and then below uh, height 20 pixel and then a border border uh, radius of 50 pixel, uh, 50 percent. Sorry about that. And there's going to be a Z index uh, nine and position relative. I will have a width. Width is going to be 144 pixel and let's see what we've got for now okay so we have the bottom side but it's kind of like and we want to center it we want to have it right below the cup so in this case i'm going to use um margin and i'll put minus 10 pixel on top 
auto on the sides and zero on the bottom. So if I save it now and go back, we see that it's centered and it looks perfectly nice here. It's almost like here. I mean, it's it's exactly the same thing actually. <laughs> okay, so uh, now I want to add some hot coffee here. So first of all, I'm gonna add the coffee and then the uh, whatever is uh, left. So let's see. Okay, so uh, let's go back to our index, to my index HTML here. I'm gonna have to add the coffee. And the coffee needs to be added right above the lead. So I'm gonna have a div class. Coffee. Okay, and here I'm gonna have the vapor in the coffee class. So I'm just gonna do like this for now. Okay, so let's go back to uh, style CSS here in my style CSS. I'm going to add the coffee. Uh, where should I add? Let's add it above the lead. Coffee. And I'm going to have a background color here. And it's going to be a coffee color, of course. 501E03. And the height is going to be 20 pixel. I'm also going to have a border radius of 50% and then Z index Z index 99 and then position relative oops and there's going to be a margin just because I want to center it it's going to be 0 auto and then the bottom is going to be minus 28 pixel because I wanted to go right inside of the cup and width to 33 pixel so if I save it and go back here here's the coffee now the coffee is here if I inspect it um, I can't really inspect it because it's 1dh but okay so like look at the coffees here now if I remove this margin for example it's gonna go up all the way so that's why I put margin here minus 20 pixel on the bottom because it goes right inside of the cup okay now uh, now it's time to add the vapor animation like we have in the demo and the logo of course so uh, let's do first the logo and then the vapor and I'm gonna add the logo in the cup div class and I'm gonna have an IMG image source and there's going to be actually I'm gonna create a new folder here which is going to be IMG and then in this folder I'm gonna have to grab it from my github repository IMG this is my logo I will download it um, save it go to this pc exam hd docs coffee img save it okay let's make sure it's in here yes it is so i'm gonna go to img vi code png i'm gonna have a class logo and a an alt tag which is gonna be Vicode media and I will close it here. I mean like this Okay, so if I save it and I go back this logo is really big and it kind of looks like Doesn't look like the way I want it to look so in this case I'm going to add some CSS for the logo as well and I will do this right here below the cup Logo max width 100 pixel and this is gonna be position absolute so let's see how it looks like now okay it's some kind of in the left side I want to make it I want to center it so I'm gonna add top 35% and left 28% all right so if I go back now the logo is centered now is the vapor time in order for us to add the vapor animation, we should add a few span uh, tags in our coffee div class. 
first of all in the coffee div class I'm gonna add a div class and the class is going to be vapor and now in the vapor class I'm gonna add a span style and I will have here minus minus v1 I'm gonna use this item in the CSS just to make the vapors so here I'm gonna have like uh, and let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And now I have to change the order number of them for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And I will change the structure a little bit, I will just mix them like this, something like this okay and uh, I think that's it for index.html now let's go back to the style CSS and now here is gonna be this is the fun part with the vapor so right below our this bottom class I'm gonna add the vapor class and I'll add position relative and then display flex display flex uh, z indexed I'll do 1 uh, padding 0 and 20 pixel and justify content center and then below here I have the vapor span tags because I, I have so many span tags here now I want to use them, I want to style them a little bit. This is where the fun fun part is starting. So I'm gonna have the position relative and then bottom is going to be 50 pixel and display block and I'm gonna have margin 0, 2 pixel on the side and then 50 pixel on the bottom min width I will say 8 pixel and the height I will do 120 pixel and the background so I'm gonna have a background color white and let's see what we have for now okay so we have these vapors <laughs> they're not looking like vapors yet but we're on the on the right track. Okay, the background and then a border radius of fifty percent. And now here is the animation. So yeah, it looks like this. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm gonna add some animation. So I'll we'll have animation, and I will create this animation. Animate below, and I will. I'll want to have it for 5 seconds linear infinite like this so I want this to run infinite time so I will have here at keyframes and the animate uh, animation so at 0% here I will uh, use the transform uh, attribute and I will have translate Y first initial is gonna be 0 and scale scale X 1 okay and I'm gonna have the same thing for 50 and 100 so 50% and 100 except here I'm gonna have 5 and 10 let's see what we have now here okay so we see this vapor it's starting to move but not the way I want it and now here I want it to go up so I want it to go up you know it goes on the sides now I want it to go up so here where is this the translate Y I'm gonna put minus 150 pixel and then here I will do minus 300 pixel so if I save it now I see it goes up now refresh one more time goes up okay now I want to add some I want to make it more like uh, blurry so um, right here below this line the animation I'm gonna add the 
opacity. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Opacity, I'll do zero. And then filter blur 10 pixel. And here below this 0%, I'm gonna add another 15%. And here I'm going to have opacity at 15 is going to be 1. And like below 50%, I'm going to add the 95% uh, opacity. So here opacity is going to be 0. And then transform it here. And then below here, I'm going to add an animation delay. Let's see what we got until now here. Okay, so we have the vape now, it's kind of blurry, but it's not, it's not constant, you know, it's like ghost waves. But So I want to kind of like animation, add an animation delay, so animation delay, and I will say calc, just to calculate the variable from here. We have this variable, which is V, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. So I'll have V and then multiply it by minus 0 0.5 seconds. So if I save it now and go back here, this is what happens here. Now you can play around with this uh, uh, attribute here. You can play around with the time, you know, with the blur, 10, 10 uh, pixel. We can play around with this because this is going to change the position and everything. But this is how I found that, you know, the right check, the one I like it to have in, in my app here. So, um, yeah, that's it, guys, for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for my channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video.